In this video, we will be going over properties of multiplication. So, in the identity property of multiplication, multiplying by 1 does not change a number. For example, 7 times 1. Multiplying 1 to 7 is equivalent to 7. 7 does not change by multiplying it by 1. In the zero property of multiplication, multiplying by zero always gives zero. For example, 8 times zero is zero. When you multiply zero to 8, the answer is always zero. In the associative property of multiplication, you can group the factors in a way without changing the result. For example, parentheses 5 times 8 times 1, we do parentheses first, so we get 40 times 1 on the left side. On the right side, we have 5 times parentheses 8 times 1, again we do parentheses first, and 8 times 1 is 8. So we have 40 times 1 is equal to 5 times 8 when we do the parentheses first. Now 40 times 1 is 40, 5 times 8 is 40. Both sides are equal to 40. You can group the factors in any way without changing the result. This is an example of associative property of multiplication. In commutative property of multiplication, you can multiply the numbers in any order and get the same product. For example, 4 times 8 is equal to 8 times 4. 4 times 8 is 32, 8 times 4 is 32. Whether the 4 or 8 comes first, it doesn't matter. Either ways, you get 32. You can multiply numbers in any order and get the same product. This is an example of commutative property. In the distributive property, you can multiply a sum by multiplying each added separately. For example, if we multiply the 2 to the 4, we get 4 times 2 minus 3 times 2. This is an example of distributive property, when you can multiply sum by multiplying each added separately.